Welcome, one and all, uh, to The Late Show. I am your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, we have been off, uh, been off for a week, right? And there's so much to talk about, but let's get right to the story that is gripping this nation and really all nations. On Saturday, Travis Kelsey was spotted with Taylor Swift <laughs> in Argentina during the Chiefs' bye week. This is exciting for me because I love Taylor. <laughs> I, I am what you call a Swiffer. I would, I am. I'd go so far as to call myself a wet jet. Anyway, <laughs> Trav Trav uh, was down there to see Tay Tay's tour tour, and <laughs> it was extra special because during the concert, Taylor changed the lyrics to one of her songs in a nod to Travis Kelsey. See if you can spot the new lyric. Mama is the guy on the chase. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, of course. Actually, it's a little embarrassing. She got that one wrong. Karma is not the guy on the Chiefs. Kelsey is the guy on the Chiefs. Here's a tip, Taylor. Their names are on the back of the shirts. Of course, this is not the first time a pop icon changed her lyrics to honor an NFL boyfriend. Near, far, yeah. You don't, people don't know that one. That's true. People forget about that. Not everybody in the news is going to be living happily ever after because we just learned that South Carolina Senator Tim Scott has dropped out of the 2024 presidential race, which means, I know, which means I can now confirm that Tim Scott was in the 2024 <laughs> presidential race. Race? Race? Doesn't matter. Scott dropped the bomb last night on the Fox News. I'm suspending my campaign. I, I think the voters uh, who are the most remarkable people on the planet have been really clear that they're telling me uh, not now, Tim. <laughs> not now is an interesting way to describe a total loss. <laughs> it's like saying, Doctor, how was the surgery? Is my husband alive? Uh, not now. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, but he has, he has high hopes for 2028. <laughs> Scott explained why he entered the race. That's what the Lord put on my heart. I think I was called to run. Uh, I was not called to win, but I certainly was called to run. <laughs> Let me get this straight. The Lord called you to run so he could watch you lose? <laughs> it's like that famous poster, when there was only one set of footprints, that's when I shoved you in the ocean and chuckled while you flailed. <laughs> But the imminent demise of his campaign did not stop Scott from reaching out to voters. He sent out an email giving them one last chance to donate 13 minutes before he announced his departure. Uh, attention, passengers. If you look out the window, you'll notice our engines are on fire, which means you have one last chance to purchase a $15 Mediterranean snack box. <laughs> of course. No one was really that surprised Tim Scott had to drop out, except everyone who worked for him, because they got no warning he was ending the campaign, finding out only by watching him say so on TV, which is terrible. This is terrible. It does remind me that I really do need to announce to my staff that I am hereby officially canceling The Late Show's Hot Fudge Mondays. <laughs> Dead man, Colbert. <laughs> One guy who will never drop out of the race, even if he loses, is Donald Trump. Last week, he won on Univision, the number one channel he wants to deport, and <laughs> he talked about how he plans to take revenge on political opponents for all his indictments. It could certainly happen in reverse. What they've done is they've released the genie out of the box. You understand that? No, I... <laughs> I do not understand that. Genies do not come in a box. They come in a bottle. Maybe a lamp. <laughs> no box, unless you order from Amazon. Then they send you a tiny genie in a giant box. <laughs> On Saturday, Trump spoke at a Veterans Day rally, and he talked about capital punishment for drug dealers. So let's have a vote. 
who would be in favor of the death penalty? Now, wait, don't, don't go yet, knowing that it will solve the problem. That's not a fair way to ask any question. <laughs> would you sleep with me? Wait, wait, don't go yet, knowing it would make you live forever. Still no? <laughs> How about the death penalty? <laughs> From there, he actually got darker. We pledge to you that we will root out the communists, Marxists, fascists, and the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country. If that chilling sentence rings a totalitarian bell, it's because, as one historian pointed out, calling people vermin was used effectively by Hitler and Mussolini. So he's plagiarizing those guys. <laughs> It's going to be so awkward when he runs into them in hell. <laughs> now... <laughs> We're also learning disturbing things uh, from a new book about Trump uh, by my guest on Thursday, Jonathan Carl. You'll recall that prior to the last election, Kim Kardashian was asking Trump to free some people who she believed were serving unjust prison sentences. Now, according to Jonathan Carl, Trump was willing to play ball only if Kardashian leveraged her celebrity connections to get football stars who were friends of hers to come visit him at the White House. <laughs> Kim tried, but all the players she approached declined. <laughs> let, me, let me... Let me just talk directly to the football players about that decision. It's good! <laughs> It is good. <laughs> Trump uh, won't be facing only Joe Biden next year. He's also up against anti-vax independent candidate and weird-looking Clementine you forgot in the back of the CRISPR. <laughs> RFK Jr. We just found out a couple of weeks ago, RFK Jr. went barefoot on a first-class flight Let's take a look at what we got here. There he is walking down the aisle, and... Okay. That is completely unhygienic. I hope he's had his shots. Oh, right. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my. The worst part, when that pick was snapped, RFK Jr. was walking to the bathroom. Reminds me when his uncle said this. Ask not! What your country can do for you. Ask why my nephew was raw-dogging it on the way to the crapper. A great man. What a great man. Uh, oh, there's news from a place the Italians like to call Italia because a lion escaped the circus and prowled the streets of a seaside town. Okay, be careful, lion. You know what happens in picturesque Italian villages? You fall in love with Diane Lane and start your life anew under the Tuscan sun. <laughs> Thankfully, the line, is this true, was safely recaptured, yes, but it did roam the town for several hours. So you're probably asking Stephen, does the Italian language have a way to express the surprise of seeing a lion walking down the street? Let's see. Madonna Santa. <laughs> Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Madonna Spice. Madonna Santa, that's a spicy lion. Lion. <laughs> you look so skinny. Eat my son. He sit around all day. Fumare. He cure like a prosciutto. Manja, manja. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> that's Italian, right? Is that Italian? Hakuna Matata? Nice. Could be. It's close. Nice. Ooh, we're learning more about Speaker of the House and knockoff Stephen Colbert from a Bulgarian talk show, Mike Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy! What we're learning ain't good. In a recently unearthed clip, Mike Johnson admits that he and his son monitor each other's porn intake through an app called Covenant Eyes. And not originally, as I thought, OnlyFam. Uh, the website encourages users to partner up to defeat porn. Although, I have seen disturbing evidence that partnering up can sometimes lead to even more porn. <laughs> Last year, Johnson was at, you know, that kind of Christian family values forum where you talk about your family's porn habits. And <laughs> he explained this cutting-edge software for his hardware. It scans every, all the activity on your phone or your devices, your laptop, tablet, what have you. We do all of it. And then it sends a report to your accountability partner. So my accountability partner right now is Jack, my son. 
sir, and I mean this with maximum respect, please never say the phrase, Jack my son. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight. My guest is Barbara Streisand. Stick around.